smart enough to know Oh no, we've been invaded. I was minding my own business on the Burlington Northern Railroad, an HO layout set in 1973 in the Seattle region, and suddenly this Mantua 2662T locomotive showed up and it just started running around the layout frenetically. First we started just by breaking it in after installing a small decoder in it. Then we hooked up some empty log cars and a little Katie bobber caboose and it started to look like it fit in even though steam was long gone by 1973. I'll stop complaining about that and just uh, show you what happened next. After we broke it in and decided it worked, we hooked up some loaded log cars and hauled them down from Skykomish to the Seattle area. Here's a close-up of this nice locomotive. It's not a model of a specific prototype, but it stands in for those famous logging locomotives of the Pacific Northwest. A little caboose here, a little barber caboose. Always forget it too. Yeah, Burr's taking video right now with his uh, camera. That's good. In the background, you can hear Dave Enger, who's the engineer on this train, talking with uh, Bob Reddick, who's the owner of this particular locomotive, and brought it over here to see if we could get it to run. You can see that we've started the operation by loading logs in the empty flat cars, and we're taking them down to the mill at Weyerhaeuser in Everett. Barney. Barney. Yeah. It doesn't have sound in the decoder, so you'll just have to imagine the chuffing and puffing of the dual steam engines. And I also noticed that the uh, side rods are not aligned properly, but the engine runs. You can hear a little clogging uh, on the downhill grade here as it goes past the section house there. And uh, we're passing, uh, this is called the index loop. We'll go ahead and bring this train down from Skykomish to Seattle. And so you'll get a little tour of the layout as well as being able to rail fan this nice little logging train. And there on the backdrop you can see Mount Index, which is one of the scenic highlights of the Cascade Mountains in western Washington state. After we run around the layout for a bit, we'll go back to Everett and switch these logs into the mill. This section of the layout right here is just a slab of two inch thick extruded styrene foam mounted on a couple of small L brackets screwed into the wall. Have you ever watched that 29 minute film I sent you? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. What do you think of the sound? Uh, good. I carved that stone retaining wall there out of some regular spackling paste. I'm hoping that we can get together the east side trains and equip this engine with the uh, sound it needs. Uh huh. Yeah. Because the sound is And the rocks, I just uh, roughed up some extruded styrofoam and covered it with latex paint and stained it. Now we're going over one of the many trestles in the Cascade Mountains. If you think you're hearing music in the background, it's because we have a jazz radio station playing uh, in the layout room.
And now we've arrived down in Everett's Bayside Yard along Puget Sound's coastline. So here we come, Bob. You observe? We're coming around the curve here from. Okay. Uh, I'm getting up to look. We're leaving Bayside Yard, headed south towards Seattle. We're running along Puget Sound. And you're taking pictures. Yeah, he's, a safe place to plant he's taking video, glass. yeah. Safe place to plant the glass. Here. You got it? I'm not safe. Yeah, probably on the table over there. Oh, watch it. I got it. I was reading about someone fell all over these logs. You can take the logs and do lots of special things to make them look like they're real ones. Coming up to Unfortunately, the electrical setup for these locomotives is Some big finger appeared out of the sky. equivalent yeah. to a short wheelbase 060. So we had some contact and pickup issues on some of my unpowered frogs. To make up for that, we ran a little faster and here we're running through the inner bay yard in seattle approaching downtown seattle and about to head into the old great northern tunnel underneath downtown seattle heading by a 2442 i'm looking forward to getting running someday it's called the skookum There on the backdrop is the iconic Mount Rainier volcanic peak that stands 14,000 feet above the city of Seattle. Seattle, Stacy Street Yard now. Okay. About to cross Royal Brome Way. Right. Which is this street. Still going to the Royal Brome Way. Yeah. I don't think you ever cool. Okay. If you had a whistle, you could blow for this grade crossing. Yeah, I would, yeah. We could cross the rail ball right now. Yeah. Now we're passing the Argo Yard in South Seattle. As Dave said there, we're passing the Argo Yard in South Seattle where the UP and the Milwaukee interchange with the BN. This is as far south as we go on this layout. But just for fun, I'll take you around the reverse loop that we use for trains that need to come around and go northbound again. After that, we'll pull into the Weyerhaeuser Mill in Everett and deliver these cars to their destination. This bridge swings down out of the way when not in use. The locomotive is tracking well. He's tried to pick up on it, only picks up on front and back on alternate sides. So, you know. <laughs> staying, staying on the rails quite nicely. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, back across Royal Brome, okay. the other direction. That's looking good. I have a camera, I mean, I have, I have a, a video on my smartphone too, which I might eventually get out of it. Okay, having run all the way around the room one more time, we're now pulling into the Delta Yard at Everett, Washington, and we're going to run around this train and shove the log cars into the Weyerhaeuser Mill. We'll leave the caboose back on the main so we can park it behind the engine when we run around. Now we need to uncouple the engine. Set the switch for the main.
pick up our caboose. Back into the clear. Align the points. Keep the engine moving by any means possible. Bang! And shove our loaded log cars on into the mill. There's quite a mess in the background there because we have the uh, narrow gauge upper part under construction at the moment. And we'll show you that in a future video. This is personally my favorite type of shot where you're backing some cars over an S curve or a crossover. We've got two tracks here at the Weyerhaeuser mill for log unloading. So we'll put half of the train in one track and then shove the other half in the other track. These log cars are an odd assortment. The ones with stakes are Walther's log cars. The next one there is a Titchy kit that I put together. The next one I think came from Red Caboose. And then I have two of those old roundhouse 30-foot uh, flat cars that we lettered up for the Troublesome Creek Railway. There is a Troublesome Creek in the Cascade Mountains, but I don't know if there was ever a railway. I just like the name. And then the last car near the engine is one of those beautiful River Rossi models. Well, that pretty much does it. We've delivered our logs, we've got our caboose on the back of our engine, and we can head back up to the logging camp and get some more cars. If this had been a real operating session, there would have been empty log cars to pull back up to the camp with us. But the reason for this video was somebody brought over this Mantua engine to try out, and so I just thought we would haul some logs with it and share it with you. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This is a shot of the log camp uh, up by Skycomish uh, with a few empty cars there, which we'll have to load up. We'll do that another time. So that's all for now. This is your host, Burr Stewart, wishing you much fun with trains. <laughs>